Hey guys, Preston here. Washington Nationals have just won the World Series. They beat the Texas Rangers who beat us in Game 7 of the last episode. And here are the retiring players for the next year's Kuroda, Pettit, Rivera, Cheater, Ichiro, Rodriguez, and the rest are no names. So our, we missed the World Series and our attendance is down and some of our players are decreasing in their overall stats and everything like that. So not a very good way to start off the off season for this year. It's gonna be the first off season the Yankees have under my control. So as you can see there's some um, some our young talent is growing a bit, but the pitching is getting I don't know why Pineda's overall went up but his stats went down. Nova's going up, some other people are going up, and here are our free agents for this year. Well that are leaving us, ho hopefully not. And the big one we have to get is Cano, because Cano was the main powerhouse of the offense, and we really need him. He had, did have an off year, though, batting a little low, his below 300 average and 27 home runs, 86 RBIs. But we're going to pick him up for six years and 13.33 uh, million per year. This one equals out to an 80 million contract, and he accepts that easily. So we go to the rest of the, our when you're contract people and they're pretty much not very good so I'm not going to be signing all of them as you can see some of them well triple A catcher might as well just sign them get them under a million and with the retiring players with Ichiro, Rodriguez, Jeter, Rivera, Kuroda they all freed up so much salary that we can basically sign anyone this post this off season so this is a, we have a lot of money this year to spend on anything we really want so it's always good to have in future years because no, everyone's on a little like less than five year contract. We're going to extend Joe Dry's contract for three years. And here is your 2014 or 2013 free agents. Not the best class in the world as you can see. Not very big names that are very well known that people really want. But they're good enough that can help rebuild us for the next year. We're gonna, Of course we're going to sign Boone Logan because... He was a very good relief pitcher, and he was the our only lefty in the bullpen. I think, yeah, one or one or two only lefties. So we really need to sign him back. So we offered him a three-year deal, and you can see some other second basemen. We don't really need them. Most of them are old and not very good, in fact, except for Chase Utley. Here is the third baseman. Some Mark Reynolds, maybe we can get. Something like that, but other than or Juan Pierre in left field because we lost a lot of outfielders. We lost Ichiro, and all we have is Gardner, really, and we don't really have Granderson or anyone, so we might need to sign another outfielder. And not a very good selection, so we need to pick some good ones. Here's Ryan Dumit. He's, um, we might be able to sign him because he's cheap and. Can provide some extra depth being a switch hitter and all that. And here are going to be the pitchers, not very good at all. Might as well not even sign anyone because they're all pretty bad. Except for Brian Wilson, might need to sign him, but he's on a bit of a decline, so maybe just a one year deal. Java Chamberlain, he's, he needs to be. We're going to get another deal out of him. Three year deal. So we have a lot of room, as you can see in the bottom, this is available. We have over a hundred million remaining, so we have a lot. We can just spend money like we don't really care about it. And Morneau, uh, Napoli, some good batters we might need to get. But Morneau can't really play the outfield, which we really need some people to play the outfield. And here's some. Here's Napoli, but we only have any room for him, so we're just gonna not really bother signing him. Do it again. Doesn't. Has some extra depth playing catcher and first base and all that kind of stuff. So it's a, maybe we'll sign him. And if not, if no one signs him, we might get him in the, during the season if someone gets hurt or anything. Good thing to have. And here's Ricky Nolasco, as you can saw in the starting pitcher. Because we lost two starting pitchers. And we kind of gained one from Nova. So we really need some starting rotation. Ours is not very good as it once was. Here's Mark Reynolds. He's, do, he's in the trend of upwards so you might need to sign him and he can play some first base and third base pretty much an infielder and some really nice power so we might need to get him type B kind of player and 
we're gonna view his offer so not very high only three years and like seven million so I might be able to pick him you know, I was checking his stats a bit of a decline but we'll see if we can get that up the share is on a big decline so we really need to fill in those gaps right there uh, this is gonna be a young team next year here's Ricky Lanasco again not the best ERA but I think he can really get the job done being our maybe fourth or fifth starter and we're gonna see his other offers three years seven million I accidentally give him more than what I meant to give him I meant to, I meant to give him around like 12 million by end of giving over almost 20 million so as you can see I'm way overpaying he does not deserve 7 million a year but then I saw the offers and I quickly dumbed that down so I think Nolasco has some potential that can really help us in the starting rotation because we lost Kuroda and Pettit and they were really really good players especially Kuroda don't know why he retired so we lost a closer, a couple of people in the bullpen, so we got a couple of gaps to fix. Catcher is fine, first base is fine, second base, shortstop. Nunez is gonna be our new shortstop. Not my, not the, my favorite decision, but we don't really have anyone in our system that can really help. Here's Dustin Mosley. He was a former Yankee before, and not many good starting pitchers. Looking back, maybe I could have signed maybe one more instead of Nolasco, but just doesn't really matter now. Logan was our only offer, so he might as well just take it. Two million for two years. Good deal for him. Good deal for us. Royal as well, don't really want to get because we're giving up a draft choice. And here's Brian Bulls. No one signed him yet, so we're going to pick him up for one year, around like two something million. Be a nice snatch because him, I'm, it's going to be like a battle between him and David Robertson and our Chamberlain to be a good closer, so. If anything, he'd just be a, a good minor reliever or a setup man. And just comparing all the stats, Chamberlain's in the upward uh, trend, so we're definitely going to get him. And our lineup is way messed up, as you can see right here. Our top two hitters are gone, and our DH is gone, so we really got to fix our lineup up. So this year it's going to be different because we're going to start Gardner and in in the first in the order been trying to do that but Jeter was there so I had to give it to him so Gardner's gonna be batting first we gotta change Cano around because Middlebrook's stats have been really going up really good so I'm gonna keep him in like the five hole maybe put Cano in the second and if it doesn't really work out I'll just switch him around and here is Wells who's gonna be playing for us because we have the because I kind of need him this year. I didn't really use him last year. I'm in the AAA rotate, AAA. And here's some rookies Aoki and Winland. So you saw some of them. And Gardner's going to be batting first, like always. It's probably going to be his main thing for this year. Because I don't really see anyone else that could be a leadoff kind of guy or anything like that. And lineup looking a bit different from last year. DH. Still thinking about DH and if we can sign some people. And our life is really, I don't know why they even do this. They just mix it around all the positions that they don't even belong in. So, yeah, about that. Just changing it around. Definitely not as strong as last year. Last year we had a really good lineup with Jeter, Ichiro, and all those players. But too bad they had to retire. I don't know why Gio retired. He had one year left on his contract. He just left us like that. And just checking out the Angels lineup, see how they're doing over there. And some more fixing. Our average is pretty bad at 260. Oh, over 100, a little over 140 RBIs. 150 now. So we've got a lot of catching up to do. Our stolen bases are really down because Gardner is really the only one that can steal and has a good enough speed I can trust him with. I don't you know if Ichiro, even though Ichiro had another year in his contract, but they decide not to just retire like that. So just changing it around. And we're pretty much done with that. Checking on the contracts, like some people are in the clients and yeah, some of the top people in the this free agent is really in a downward trend, so I don't really sign them. And here we're gonna try to sign Mark Reynolds, very good 
very good hitter was once was and probably is still so we're gonna see if anything's left in them see if we can get him because we have a lot of room to sign him or anything and we're gonna raise the raise around like five million just to make sure we get him he'll probably accept that so he probably most likely will be our dh slash third base first base kind of guy whenever to share or millbrook teams a rest and we're gonna go around stick around and we're gonna advance today and we have signed mark reynolds and java chamberlain so we can add those and we sign wilson nolasco and logan so we got some, we got everyone we pretty much offered signed with us so that's a very good thing to have because our line isn't as strong as it once was because people are declining people have left so we really gotta fix that and our line as you can see our whole system is really messed up because I let go of a lot of people because they I felt that they didn't really help us at all and now that we run I'm gonna put him in the DH spot for lefties and righties because he is like a 90, 89 power, so it's really helpful for us. He can replace some of the power we need. Maybe the contact, maybe. Here's going to be our rotation. It's going to be Sabathia, Nova, Pineda, Phelps, and then Alasco. Got to switch that around. Don't even have a number two pitcher. So, about that. Here's Nolasco. We signed him, so it's a good thing to have. We got Nova. And... Pineda is gonna be our number two, then Phelps, Nolasco, no, I have Nova, then Nolasco. So lefty, righty, 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 righty. And for now, Brian Wilson will be the closer. Robertson the setup man. Robertson's always been a good setup man. Might make him a closer if Wilson struggles or anything like that. Chamberlain, not he's still gonna be our my reliever, and that's gonna be our bullpen. As you can see, we still have Herndon, Miller, and about that. And we're continuing through the off season. And those are stars and our closer. For now, I mean, nothing's really finalized to now. Sabath has not been a decline, so we really gotta fix our starting rotation. Maybe do some trades during the season, and we're gonna advance to the next season. We're gonna not gonna expand our forty-man rush. It's gonna screw up everything. And my name is Preston. I'll see you guys later in my next video. See ya.